So, paper says North Carolina Department of Transportation to fund research on autonomous vehicle technology. Mm-hmm. It says three of the universities will get a million dollars each uh, to spend over a three-year period to study uh, cha uh, to study transportation challenges. Most of those challenges have to do with technology, notably the expected introduction of electric and autonomous or self-driving cars and trucks. Disruptive technologies will reshape the transportation industry, transportation sector. Terry uh, Jim Targon said in a statement. Wow, I bet NC State's one of the oh, yeah. universities, yeah, yeah. but it doesn't say well, what probably, three. Probably uh, NC A and T over there. Uh, it's possible. And uh, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Uh, which others? Um, so it doesn't list the ones. I guess we'll have to go out and read for ourselves. No, it says a NC A and T will host the NC Transportation <laughs> Center conferences. NC Chapel Hill's Highway Safety Research Center will focus on the effect of autonomous vehicles and other technologies. NC State University's Institution of Transportation and Research Education will research the use of cameras and sensors to predict traffic and reduce congestion. It will also research the management of fleets of autonomous vehicles and look for ways to use the transportation to improve access to health care in rural areas okay so we're uh, glad that we don't have to buy so much gas at the pump this season I read in the paper yesterday that Visa uh, issued a warning to card holders to beware of buying gas stations uh, uh, are using their cards at the pump used to paint at the pump and here's a follow-up article today from the uh, Los Angeles Times uh, talking about that article. And, um, you know, that's one thing that's kind of good about having an electric car. Uh, although I bought gas for... The GMC. GMC when a week ago Saturday. When we went up to the track. Right, uh, when we went up to the track. And then I bought gas for the Scion uh, this week, too. So I've actually bought gas twice it's pretty rare but we do month. yeah but uh that's the first time i've bought gas in two or three months uh, i mean that 20 mile uh 50 mile round trip is, takes like five weeks uh of that driving back and forth and i don't go every week to pick up johnny uh so uh, anyway i'm just trying to say is beware uh, know your gas station uh that's the important thing and um it says use the, the pump app. Uh, a lot of gas stations now have an app. Uh, and uh, use that app instead of paying at the pump. Or go inside and stick it. Because they don't use the chip. Uh, if you at the pump. They've not the pump. been updated to have chip readers. That's right. And so uh, if you go inside, you can use your chip. It's okay too. Or at the app. And when I was out in California, I rented a car and I was had to take it back full uh and uh, I pulled into a service station not knowing this at the time that they didn't take credit cards at that service station at all. You could pay with Google Wallet or Apple, Apple Pay, Pay or you could pay in cash. Luckily I had a little cash on me so I paid in cash but they didn't take credit cards. So um, I guess um, you know this is one of the things that are changing. It's a chilly day out here at 46 degrees. But Don decided uh, he had the time and inclination to get Ruby cleaned back up. I just hate it that it rained yesterday because she was pretty, pretty clean. But thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. So uh, the, just putting water in what the remaining Chemical Guy Citrus Car Wash formula. I just filled the bottle back up again with warm water this time. Uh, and it shook it and it... it dissolve much easier this time uh, uh, it had plenty of stick power I would say that so I would say don't like a hundred no more than 125 milliliter per liter uh, or that's uh, your foam can is about a liter yeah, bottle about a liter it's like 750 it's the top notch but then it goes a little bit above that so I'm just saying seven to one I guess uh, eight to one um, uh, ratio uh, seems to be about right because that gave a really nice soap I mean it was really 
still have all that nice slick. It rinsed a little easier uh, before I had to, of course that might be temperature. Sure. Uh, yeah, but it, it did, it, it. I was very happy. I did get the sticker off the hood. Oh, I see. Yeah, and it, um, I could tell by the water trail, uh, it's left a little bit, but I haven't done anything yet. Oh, okay, I see it. You can sort of see. Yeah, you can see it. But I, that hasn't been waxed, and that's probably pulled the wax off. So I've got that uh, stuff in warm water so that it's heating up the bottle uh, to get the temperature up. Because this is 40. The wax stuff to try yeah, to see like if you try it. Right now, it's, it's, I, I mean, I got my hat on. I'm, I got a sweatshirt and my. Uh, it's cool out here. My hands are like icicles. Oh. Um, the point is I'm making is um, I'm thinking I'll, I'll do the hood. As you can see, it's beating up pretty nice this time. In fact, you could kind of see this is the area where. Right. There's just not beating up there. The color yeah, doesn't look off, different. Which is different than the beads, you know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I would say that stuff did add a little protection, which is what I, I was what, trying to get to a, a place here. Maybe next week where I can do the, the whole detail of the car. We have a, you know, one of these 70 degree North Carolina December days. I'll, I'll do the whole car uh, okay. with, the, with the paint protectant uh, stuff. The yearly stuff? The yearly stuff. The yearly stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I missed the phone cannon again. It's always cool to see the car all foamed up, yeah. but uh, yeah. glad to hear that it did good again today. I dare say the warmest room in the house right now is my bedroom. <laughs> And the cats take turns sleeping in this tiny little bed here. Hi. Yeah, you want the bed. Johnny and I are off to a EX raid and then his yearly doctor's appointment. Fun stuff at Christmas time. Yeah. That's right. Everything's good, Donnie? Yeah, she's great. I'm just wiping the spray off, overspray off the rim. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're great. Ruby looks fantastic. Please, God, don't th there be a lot of water on the road or rain anytime soon. <laughs> and it's the exact same special research for Zach Thank Jones. goodness. I was down to like. Did you get him, Michelle? I got him. Um, All right, we got him. Michelle, Kelly already had him because she did the special event but we've all got him now yay i'm so happy he's so Ooh. cute <laughs> i'm home now and cooking dinner with an audience johnny's appointment went fine of course he's taller and i'm cooking us some dinner before we go out and enjoy nighttime some uh holiday lights so i have my map my address list yep you know, I got my lighting engineer shirt on. <laughs> I got my best bud with me. That's right. We're going to go look at us some Christmas, Christmas lights. lights. And since you can't see us in the car worth a darn yeah, because it's, it's so dark out there, I thought I'd capture a picture of you in here. And That's right. I will have several recording devices at my uh, disposal. Yeah. And I'll be doing the best I can yeah. to get some interesting footage. Well, the rumor is we might get cookies at one of our stops. Yeah, I think so, we might be going to a house with a Tesla or... Yeah, 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 yeah. Part of the plan. Oh, Mom's all dressed up. She's ready to go. Yeah, I forgot on my kitty cat. My official meowy Christmas sweatshirt. What's all this joy back there, Johnny? I made a Donnie on the map exam. <laughs> that is fantastic. Let's go celebrate. Yes. Rocks and rockets. And some houses have really sweet puppy dogs as part of their Christmas display. What's wrong? Come here for a second. Aww. The penguin found the cookies. Did you clean the yard? Uh, I think this snowman's a little bit worried about the puppy dog. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> Petrified. <laughs>
sure it's impossible to see even a fraction of how pretty this is. But uh, an amazing display here on uh, Holt Road over in Apex. Don was able to find a spot where we could stop and put Ruby safely. Like I said, they do open this up, but they had a special event tonight that they were closed for. But typically you can go down in there. It's amazing. This is not too far from the house. I mean, it's not like we couldn't come back another night. It's 40, so we're here, but we're cold. Well, it's down to 38 out there. Don got out at that house on Holt Road with me and we were both basically freezing. We're just a mile or so down the road now and there are two really nice houses in this neighborhood. 90.9 FM for this one, Donnie. So there's the Chinese Lantern Festival at Regency Parkway in Cary. It looks so pretty that I had Don drop me off so I could come take some pictures. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> the only thing missing at this house is Ruby doing her display at the same time, right? <laughs> <laughs>